What up, YouTube? Shelbishi back again with another video for you. Uh, in this video, it's something kind of special. It's my fastest Uber Lab run ever. It was a pretty solid run. I won't comment about too much, but I will say I'm pretty proud of it. It's a second place run. Uh, there's a couple misclicks, and I could probably, if I ran this same run again, and I had map packs, I would probably only still save like three or four seconds. So it was pretty good. Second place run. I'm still perplexed because I'm still 15 or 16 seconds behind first place, but it's pretty good. Check this out. This is a good kill. I nuke him instantly. Boom. Can Think about this. I'm out of the first boss room in under a minute. And watch how fast I get to phase two. I spent a little too much time there, maybe preparing a blade vortex, but I made it to this zone in, in one shot with flasks. Okay, so I left phase one at what, 50 seconds? And now I'm at phase two in 112. So think about that, that's crazy. I, I do something pretty cool here. I kind of get lucky. Uh, so I'm killing a Zaro. I put enough poison on him to make sure he's going to die. And then I instantly swap to the Gargoyle to end the uh, animation. And end the fight instantly. So then I get to go to the next zone. Leaving at about a minute and 35. A little bit of a headbutt there. And honestly I kind of messed up this golden key. I could have maybe saved like three three seconds in here alone, and maybe maybe two or three seconds. Obviously, I messed that part up. Obviously, I stopped right here for a little bit too long. I think I could have got away with maybe just doing one blade vortex instead of two or three, but I wanted to make sure after I got this key, I had enough flask charges to make it through the next two rooms, because I knew I had to use flask charges here to make it through the gold door and to the next exit. And then this is the final room. So I needed a full round of flasks at the start of this. So I could make it in one shot to the very end. Which is actually pretty close. Boom, right there. And now I double pot to make it through this room. And uh, your flasks, they last a long time. So if you, if you flask up when you're just entering the waiting room, I call it. It'll last until you get to the actual boss. So it's always worth it for me. And here I got real lucky. The boss charged right on top of me. I didn't have to move at all. I didn't have to like dodge the teleport or anything. It was just 100% uptime on damage. And then uh, that's pretty much the run. Here I am just talking to the stream a bit. And there's the leaderboard. So I hope you guys enjoyed.